Mm, mm, mm. Family, I don't know what's going on lately between all the exes coming back and all these people trying to pull you into their mess. Capricorn, there is a fight that somebody wants to pull you into, a major conflict, a, a whole freaking tower moment that has nothing to do with you. You are totally independent outside of this situation. And notice how with this Nine of Pentacles, which we've been seeing a lot of here on the channel, okay? You're separated and doing very well. And here somebody comes arguing, fighting. You need to protect what you've built. You need to protect your energy and your peace, Capricorn. Family, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please like, share, and subscribe for more of my daily Capricorn readings. And be sure to comment down below. Drop your sun, moon, rising. Let me know where you're watching from. Big shout out always to everybody in Michigan. Capricorns. I want you to do two things, please. Always hit that like button. But drop the sign of this person that is reaching out to you to help them with a conflict. We have Gemini, which has been heavy lately, as well as Virgo. We have Sagittarius frequently showing up as well. These um, mutable signs, heavy. And then we see this Scorpio Aries energy with this tower moment. Family. This is not for you to get involved with. Somebody is reaping what they've sown, Capricorn. Somebody is reaping what they have sown. Their immaturity has gotten the best of them. And keep in mind that this could also be your energy as well, Capricorn. But this immature person, and I feel like struggles with codependency, however that is, is going through it. Struggling. Some things have been discovered. Could have been another third party situation, a, a major betrayal. When I think of the lovers and the tower moment, there's been a betrayal that was discovered. Could be, could have to do with a third party situation, but whatever this betrayal was, whether it's third party, um, a love situation, this betrayal <clears throat> is an act of somebody doing the one thing that crossing that one major boundary. So be, be clear. Capricorn, there may be somebody reaching out to you and you are that one major boundary. This person may be reaching out to you, trying to monkey branch or contact you just to have a conversation because things are going bad here. And it's going to go from bad to a hot freaking mess, a hot freaking mess very quickly, very quickly. To me, what stands out is this person breaking the side. You haven't even spoken to this individual in a long time here. Nine years potentially with this hermit card and not just this hermit. <clears throat> the nine of pentacles also. The repeating nines. The repeating sevens, earth and fire. Shout out to the Capricorns born in the year 99 or on the ninth. Um, yeah. Breaking the silence, coming out of the blue. Who's this religious person? <clears throat> Religious or very spiritual individual, breaking the silence. They haven't heard from you in a long time. Years. Years, Capricorn. And I, I talked about that. This wild blast from your past in a previous video. Check the playlist. They are reaching out. Let me tell you why, Capricorn. Let me keep it a buck fifty with you. This person is reaching out because they're already going through a hard time. They're already going through a hard time. They're already struggling with something. And this Queen of Swords, the way that they are looking in this Nine of Wands, it makes me feel like this person is in a relationship. Queen of Swords, marriage. King and Queen of Earth and Air, those are married people. <clears throat> so who's this married person you ain't heard, talked to in nine years that you probably shouldn't be talking to, Capricorn? <clears throat> 
that is reaching out because they've been going through a little bit of a hard time or this at they're at this crossroads. Mm, mm, mm. They're at this crossroad in their life and really jumping out the window. Jumping out the window, contacting you with an apology with all these sweet, absolutely nothings, still having these feelings. I also feel like there may be a, an age difference between you and this person, <clears throat> talking about how much time, you know, they've been waiting to talk to you, but it was too crazy. They didn't want, you know, to go back and forth, how they scared they've been. Um, this person does not want to be alone. And not only that, whatever history that you have with this person, they feel like they've invested a lot with you and that they should be able to come back. Notice how this person is sneaking through a freaking window here. That's okay. I'll pull it closer if you can't see. Uh, yeah. They're just going to sneak back. Okay? Sneak back. And heavy on the sneak back into your life. Because I feel like this is very sneaky energy. They're going to try and sneak back into your life, into your situation. Talk to you, break the silence, tell you how they feel. While they're looking for some type of stability here with the temperance. They have one foot out the door with one person. And they got, they're hoping that they have one foot in the door with you. And let me tell you something, Capricorn. Is this trying to play both sides of the fence when they're already in this conflict? Trying to sneak around and reconnect with you, this person that they've invested a lot in? That's going to take this five of wands to a straight up tower moment. A straight up tower moment. And here's the thing. If you live in an apartment or you're meeting this person in an apartment, in an office building, in a hotel, you're going to get pulled into wherever you're meeting this person that you don't need to be speaking to, <clears throat> that's going through their own thing and they need to deal with it like an adult. You will get caught up out with them publicly if you meet up with, if you're foolish enough to sit face to face with this person. To fit to to meet face to face with this person, Capricorn, you're gonna be mo moving furniture with somebody, okay? If you are not careful, you will be pulled into this drama that really had nothing to do with you, but it will be all about you. Understand that this person coming back with this apology. Lord, Lord, Lord. Capricorn, what is this? What's the age difference between you and this person or these people in this third party situation that you need to stay 50 feet away from? The repeating numbers for me. Nines and seven, the pages. The pages. So it's not just a... There's a very strong physical connection between you and this person, as well as, you know, there's some feelings there. When I said that this person was attached and or married, that's exactly what it is, Capricorn. I also feel like this person, when they come towards you because they can't be alone, will also be pushing marriage, having a family, having to very quickly. Who's this person with two kids, male or female? That's coming in, wanting you to get involved in a fight, a conflict that has nothing to do with you. And to be specific, <clears throat> whether you're a part of this third party situation, there's a lover's quarrel that is getting out of hand. That doesn't have anything to do with you. But if you get involved, understand Capricorn, you will be at the center of this entire thing. Who's this Taurus or this Libra that is involved? There's somebody who may have a thing for earth sign women or men. We see Taurus, we see Virgo, 
We're talking about Capricorns. Oh, drop, oh, please, please drop the sign of everybody involved in this mess. Somebody has been caught red-handed in something else. And because somebody is all over them, like white on rice family, checking their messages, checking their internet activities, checking their movements. When they reach out to you, long time no see, not even just ghosting, zombieing, thought the person was long gone. Everything's about to come out. What they've been doing in the background that had nothing to do with you has come to the surface. What they've been doing with you, if you've been just ignoring the messages, somebody's going to see that. If you've been entertaining this person, if you make, I'm telling you, it's the hotel vibes for me. If you make the mistake of entertaining this person and specifically entertaining, laying in the bed with this individual, in their, your apartment, at the hotel, and none of y'all had no business fornicating like that, When I tell you that there's going to be some drama, a lot of stress and anxiety, notice this five of swords here with this nine. Somebody's going to be looking to cuss you out, to get into it with you. Your phone's going to be blowing up, a ton of missed calls, unknown numbers, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yep. Capricorn, do not get involved with this. Do not allow this person's stress, and we see another nine there, to become your problem. Nines and four. Because they're not about to tell you that they're falling out with this person. They're not. This person is very physically attracted. And I feel like what's really going to bring them towards you is the physical attraction that they have. This person is going to try to, uh, to lay up with you as quickly as they can. And it's going to be that laying up with you. Y'all getting naked. Like they are here. Adam and Eve in Genesis chapter 3. That's going to get you, I, I I'm telling you, caught up. Okay? Genesis chapter 3. The fall. It, exactly. This person's already in a falling out with this other party. This, this other situation that they have going on that they have a responsibility to, they're not letting you know. They just see that things are going well for you, looking good, all of that. They're feeling a certain type of way. And when I say a certain type of way, horny Capricorn. And that's why they're coming towards you. Running away from their problems. And here's the thing. All these flames and this person running, they're about to bring the flames your way. Straight to you straight to you. Now you're running. Now you're sweating out your relaxer. Right? Because you got to run from this person. Because you got pulled into some unnecessary drama. Because this person was absolutely playing on your emotions. Okay? While they're trying to, I'm telling you, sneak out of one situation with another person into another commitment with you if you will allow them to. And it's all the nines for me. These nines giving me the vibes of those pages from earlier. There's somebody who jumps from person to person, man to man, woman to woman. Right? That has come to the end. And not just the end with one person. A couple of people. You don't realize it. They've already been busted for a third party situation that doesn't have anything to do with you. But because you're you, Capricorn, you will be the focus. You will be the focus. The fact that this person is reaching out and, and it's the way that this person has been, I'm telling you, who's this person that's been seeking you out that is married? Man or woman. We've already seen the Empress. Now we see the Emperor here that has been seeking you out because they're in a situation somewhere else. where they are double dealing. Now they want to find their way to you. Now, now is the right time for you to reconnect. Now you guys are in alignment. 
now they want to act like now's the right time for you to get together. Now there's this time, this realignment between you and this person. When I tell you that this person is burning a bridge, mm, mm, mm. check out the reading yesterday, family. That's all I'm going to say. When I tell you that somebody's burned a bridge with multiple people, and that is why they're coming your way. So that you can help them, so that you can save them, because they have only good memories with you. And they're hoping that just as quickly as they come in, they can lock you down. I'm telling you, this person, this person in particular, <laughs> they want, want to come in acting religious, but they want marriage. They, they're coming and talking about how they don't want to do this anymore. They don't want to be in the streets. They're not about that life anymore. They want to be married and just move on. And I feel like not only get married and move on, but like relocate with you. And I feel like that relocation has to do with them running from whatever this punishment is or this exposure is from this other party. But let, let's be clear. They're going to try and lock you down coming out of one situation into another. Who's this person that drives a sports car? Mm, mm, mm. Capricorn. Do not get involved. It has nothing to do with you until you decide to involve you. And then you will be, I'm telling you, the repeating threes. Did you see that? Three, three, three. Earth, air, water, queen of pentacles. Somebody's going to hand you your ASS, Capricorn. Over this person. It's going to be a whole mess. This third party mess. And this person taking this wild leap of faith. Coming out of nowhere. Because this person is married. And they need to handle their business. Do not get caught up in it. Do not get caught up in this public mess. That has nothing to do with you. That will have everything to do with you. If and when you decide to get involved. Capricorn. Just say no, family. Drop this person's sign down below. Like, share, and subscribe for more of my content. Check the playlist. Find me on Instagram. And family, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.